not only am I playing Animal Crossing, but somehow we've even gotten Ed to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's just so fun. It it's is. so cute and like lighthearted. Yes. Perfect during these times. Yes. Hi there friends, it is bright early in the morning now and I am still sitting in bed. I'm gonna stay here for a while because why the heck not? I'm gonna do some reading. I'll show you what I'm reading this week. This is Losing You by Nisi French. Now what's interesting about this author is they're actually a husband and wife team <laughs> who write the books together. And now I've never read anything written by them before, but when I scroll through, look, look at the long list of books they've written. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, so I'm only a few pages in so far. I'm on page what? Four. And I got the bookmark that my sweet friend sent me for Christmas. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. So oh, it's evening now. We're getting ready to have a nice evening. We've got some rosé and also some Malbec. Ed is here making his secret sauce for our quesadillas. We're making quesadillas. Yes. Ed's making his secret sauce with jalapenos, a bunch of spices, <laughs> and other secrets that he'll never tell. Here's sweet little Trixie, all cozied up in her little bed. Hey, Trix. She's like, don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> You're not feeling it today? I hear ya. I just thought I'd show you my everyday makeup setup. Um, I know Carol, uh, when she comments sometimes on these vlogs, she says she wants a um, sort of makeup collection. So Carol, I'm telling you at this point, <laughs> I don't have a ton of makeup. I mean, I have a lot for the average everyday person, but I don't know how interesting my makeup collection video would be. So I've got this thing here. I've shown it to you guys before, I know. It's like this case. I love it. And you open it up, pick this up, brushes. Love it. <laughs> Down here, we've got, here I keep sort of face products, foundation. I'm currently using a Fenty. I use this in the winter. And then now that things are warming up and I'm not quite as pale, I'm using this Maybelline, Maybelline, <laughs> Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I love this foundation. And then I've just got some, oops, some concealers. These are kind of my two faves. This one is, again, from Maybelline. It's the Age Rewind. It, like, we're at the very, the very bottom here. Um, and I also do love this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This is the mascara I'm currently using. It's the Big Show from Annabelle. Annabelle's a Canadian company, so many of you might not be familiar. But I don't love this. It's not the best, but it's what we got right now. Then here I keep palettes. I've got a few color pop palettes, um, a couple face palettes. Like this is oops, this is from Mac here, and this is this was their Pretty Little Thing Christmas Collection 2018, and I love this. I use this every day. It's like the perfect everyday colors for me. Uh, and when I say every day, I mean every day that I wear makeup. Definitely not every day. And then just a bunch of palettes. This is my most recent one. This is from Becca. Let me open it up here. It's hard to film and open things <laughs> with one hand. I'm loving this. These are a lot of just sort of glitters and they go on really sheer. And I really love them. I've been using this a lot. I just love it. So there's that. So just, and then up here we've got blushes, highlighters, powders. I've been using this powder a lot lately, the Revlon Color Stay, and I love it. Just a sort of a setting powder on top of everything. Love it. Then over here, some um, spare, not spare, but um, random sort of eyeshadow singles. It's Urban Decay Glitter in Moon Spoon. I love this. I'm going to hit pan on it soon, I think, but it's just so pretty. <laughs> and then some like, let me see here, some... This glitter from ColourPop. This is Ladybird. I've talked about this glitter so many times. I love it so much. Let me just take the top off here and show you. Oh, oh, so pretty. Oops. So yeah, that's just kind of what I'm working with here. 
Uh, let me know, Carol, if you want like a more in-depth one, but yeah. Okay, you guys, I just have to share this. This is a book now available on Amazon called Brave New Start. And it's written by my dear friend here on YouTube, Andrea. Her channel name is Just Sweet Just Moi. I'll link it, of course, in the description. But she wrote a book and the paperback is now available and I'm so excited. Unfortunately, of course, due to just the state of the world right now, Amazon is making books a low priority. So at this point right now, it's saying June 2nd <laughs> no, for delivery, which is actually better because when I first checked, it was saying, I think, June 12th. So June 2nd, still quite a ways away, but here is her book. Once I get it, of course, I'm going to be doing a book talk on it. Although I must say I've already read it, at least a version of it, uh, before she published. And it's just such a fun read, a fun adventure to go on with these characters. And I just know you're all going to love it. So I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to share it fully and properly with you. Congrats, Andrea. All right. Hi there, guys. I wanted to sit now, come finish up this vlog, and I wanted to tell you about something really cute that happened this weekend. So first of all, I've got coffee today. This is like my fourth coffee today in my little White House mug. So cute. Anyway, so the first thing that I wanted to tell you about is this really cute thing that happened over the weekend. I didn't vlog it when it was happening because we were just enjoying it. But normally, every week slash every second week when things in the world are normal um, Ed and I we go out for a date night you know it's important to keep doing things with each other keep going on dates together we've both always really thought that so yeah usually once a week or once every other week and so of course for the past month that hasn't been happening and we kind of just you know we spend lots of time together but we kind of just put the whole idea of date night aside until um the other night so if you saw earlier in the vlog when he was making the quesadilla sauce and we had some wine and i told him i said okay tonight is your night and you're gonna plan a date and uh best of luck with it <laughs> and he was kind of like okay so i was like what is he gonna come up with so a little later he told me to get ready and then we came into the living room and he fired up YouTube on the TV and he was like, are you ready? And I said, I'm ready. And he had a playlist made of um, 4K drone tours of all of the places that we want to travel in the future, all of the places that are on our bucket list to see. And um, so he made this playlist of these tours and we got to travel around the world on Saturday night and we got to see, it was just, first of all, it's so beautiful, these, the way these tours are put together. And if you want, all you have to do, if you want to see what any place in the world looks like, just put in the name of the place and then 4K drone tours and guaranteed, guaranteed someone has filmed it. And it's all set to music. And yeah, we got to we got to travel all around the world. We got to go to Greece and Italy and England and back to Ireland. And we went to Hawaii and we went to Mexico. And uh, we revisited places we had traveled in the past. And it was just so fun and such a cute, sweet idea. And I was just like, I was so touched <laughs> because it was such, just such a sweet idea, such a good idea. So there you go. I just had to share it with you because it just, warmed my heart it made my absolute day and yeah if you want something fun to do it's pretty fun just getting to see what all these places look like so <laughs> now it's actually monday morning <laughs> i uh was a little late getting this blog put together and last night i was just my allergies this week have been so bad um, there were a couple of days where I just didn't have the energy to do anything because the allergies are so bad and then I'm taking the allergy meds and the allergy meds make me useless. They make me so tired. So it's like, do they help my allergies or do they just put me asleep so I don't notice my allergies? I don't know which is happening, but at any rate, I mean, I guess something's happening. So yeah, let me know you guys, how are you guys doing? What did you guys do this weekend? Anything? I feel like that's such a strange question to ask these days, but hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, watched 
the latest episode of Westworld yesterday. Very excited about that. Oh my lord, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, just thinking about watching things on TV. It made me think on Netflix. There's this new reality show called Too Hot to Handle. It's ridiculous. It's trashy. Um, but I'm watching that and it's just... I don't even know. I was gonna say, do I recommend it or no? I don't know if I recommend it or not. <laughs> um, I'll wait till I get to the end and, and see. If I recommend it, I'll make a whole video on it like I did with Love is Blind because that show was wild. This one's a little raunchier <laughs> um, in some ways, but not in others because of the whole premise, which is, I'll tell you the premise. A bunch of young, attractive single people are brought to this resort on an island. I don't know where it's filmed, somewhere gorgeous. And so they get to know each other for the first 12 hours. And then they're told the real rules of the retreat. And that is they can't have any romantic or intimate um, moments with each other. No kissing, no nothing. And if they can do that, there will be a winner and that winner will get $100,000. But for every indiscretion, money is deducted from the pot. So I'm on episode, I think, six of eight, and they're already down to $55,000 instead of a hundred. So we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. But first, let's try this coffee. All right, you guys, I hope you're doing well and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.